Friday and Frank Show. Don't forget, Friday, uh, come out and have some fun with us at Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Uh, we're going to be out there at Tacos Tequila, the restaurant bar for a happy hour event, 6 to 8. But I'm, pay- I'm saying 6 to question mark. 8 is just a suggestion. Uh, but it starts at 6, ends whenever. But be sure and head out to Morongo on Friday. Have a good time. Uh, Heidi and I will both be out there. And probably some other stragglers from the show. Just can't keep them away. Here's what's going to be exciting, everybody. Frank hasn't been drinking because of this damn diet that he's on. But Friday, he's going to drink. And he hasn't drank in a while. Yeah. Oh, boy. Somebody's out of practice. Morongo chimps coming out. Oh, no. my God. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Come on now. They'll definitely want to come out and, uh, <laughs> and witness it. So uh, that'll be Friday from 6 to 8. P.M. Tacos and Tequila at Morongo Casino. Is Breckenmeyer here yet? Because I have a feeling that he is because uh, Sammy has been oh my God. skipping around. Hello, Breckenmeyer, sir. There he is. I thought Look we scared that. you out of the building based <laughs> on the conversation we're having. I was listening to was George. Have a seat. Yeah, George. Hello, I know Frank. There's Heidi over there. Hey, nice to meet you. How goes it? We're good. It goes he well. The greatest voice I've ever heard. Right? Isn't that awesome? He answered the front gate. And was like, hello? <laughs> who, who may I say is calling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You can say whoever you want is calling because that's a fantastic voice. It is. Uh, thank you for stopping in. Thanks uh, for having me. I know you've been sitting in the Bristol Farms green room for a while listening to the show. I was. Uh, well, okay. normally our shows aren't about. It seemed to be a theme today. Yeah, a lot, the, lot of scrotums in the last half hour. And ball talk. talk. I heard that, that's. I kind of. I kind of kicked up the volume when I heard balls, <laughs> balls, <laughs> yeah. balls, which works perfectly because yeah. tomorrow night's episode of Franklin and Bash, you're naked. We what? are. We are naked. I got a. I got yes. a sneak peek of Franklin because I'm a huge fan of Franklin Thank and Bash. You. Huge fan. I Thank love the show. I've seen every episode, maybe Thank maybe you. twice. But so we got the the sneak preview. So I've already seen tomorrow night's episode. You're looking good naked, Brandon. <laughs> Thank you. How stressed Thanks. out though? Like every time I see somebody shirtless or naked on yeah. television, I'm always like, because I would think what I would do, like. Okay, I've got a little well, belly. Think, i got to die down. I don't know how down. far ahead do you even know that, that, that that's in the script. Yeah. We, we didn't, we the didn't know beat. that scene was going to be in there. You know, we're naked, and, and I'm next to Heather Locklear, who has not, who isn't, you know, not around dudes with big members. She's yeah, married yeah, yeah, to Tommy yeah, yeah. Lee. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he honked a boat horn with his penis. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, not that I have, you know, but... Um, it was a little stressful, but then they, you know, also we moved to Malibu this season on the show, not me personally, but on the show, and Mark Paul's already kind of a fit individual, that Mark Paul Gosler guy, and yeah. uh, so there was a little moment of like, oh man, I gotta order P90X or something. Yeah, you're so, doing something. Get on the insanity so what, what are you so, doing in the scene? Are you, are you, uh, just... In the scene, we lose a, we're kind of trash talking Heather Locker, we're both legal experts on Pierce Morgan, and she kind of gets us uh, she kind of one ups us and we're like oh yeah you think that's true let's make a little we made a friendly wager and the result of the wager was we lost and had to be naked on the show and uh, the good thing was Pierce Morgan had no idea that was coming <laughs> and we pulled the producer aside I was like hey man he's joking around about what the next scene is I don't think he knows and they're like oh no no he knows he don't worry knows. about it and he's like um, so exactly what's going to happen next <laughs> And I'm like, we're about to stand in front of Piers and God and Country with nothing but, you know, screech and belding. And the, uh, so we got in his face. So did you, like, knowing ahead of time, so you joked about P90X, but you did stress out about it. I stressed, out about, anyway, I, I stressed like, out about the whole season. Like, cause Mark, like, we established Mark Paul's the naked guy. I'm the funny guy on the show. And then suddenly we're both going to be running on the beach in slow-mo. I was like, I don't want to do that. No, the worst part about it is all the Earl Scheib spray paint you have to do. The spray tan twice, once uh, once every two weeks. Yeah, yeah. You <coughs> Excuse got, me. Yeah, you, you got to gotta get nice and bronze. And they, then you got to line explained your, it. Right. You and line your Line pegs. everything up. And they explained it where I was like, wait, but I'm still looking for why we have to do the spray tan. They're like, well, because A, you're a pasty ghost. Yeah, exactly. And you look like you need three quarts of blood at all times. <laughs> And we film in Santa Clarita in the soundstage. So oh. once a week we go to the beach. And if you live in a soundstage for 14 hours a day, you get, you're not, you don't look like you're at the beach. So right. we had to look like we actually had a beach house. Heather Locklear is uh, new to the cast this season. Heather Locklear joined this this year, which was pretty cool. And uh, She still looks she, absolutely amazing. She's she? awesome. I'd never, I'd never met her before. I was kind of like, well, she always plays, you know, like a devilish bitch on yeah, TV. Yeah. I mean, she's Awesome. She's just super cool. And she's your and new boss. Fun. She's our new boss on the show, and she doesn't like us very much, yeah. which is fun to play around with. Uh, um, so, on, yeah, we got lucky. On uh, season one and two, now, Frank, I know you've seen some episodes, and but I'm, I'm totally diehard. So the way you I'm guys lived... I'm over here, Frank. Okay. I know, because she seems diehard. Okay, season one and two, when you guys lived in that amazing house where there was a party every yes. single night. There was always yeah. hot chicks, a hot tub. You'd come home from, you know, solving, you know, dealing with your case. Like home. lawyers do. 
yeah. yeah. So that was my yeah. question. It's like, I know how Frank has lived. Like, you've lived in that party house with a bunch of guys where it's nonstop drinking and kegs and chicks. Did you ever live that way? No. You never, never. did? Never. There was an episode where my character has to shotgun a beer in court, like you do. And um, <laughs> I, and this is silly, I've never had a beer in my life. And so... The first of all, the 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 you sadness. You need to keep going that direction over by. I have never had a beer in your life. It's tragic. We got the beer here. I I have. Uh, the, you've never seen a sadder, more depressed prop guy who are always usually tatted up macho guys. When I told him like, hey, can you get me just some seltzer instead of beer? And he just, I mean, it was like I didn't make the wrestling team for Aww. my dad. He just shook his head, and I was like, well, he's like, why don't you want a real beer? I was like, oh, I've never had. The beer's like, well, we can get you, you know, near beer That's or whatever. We can, no. And he's like, we can get That's you near crazy. beer. And I said, uh, well, you know, how about, I was like, you know, the problem with beer is it's a little, it seems like it'll be really bubbly. <laughs> it was the saddest. <laughs> bubbly. It was the saddest argument. And Mark guess. Paul had Breaking. such a field day. Mark Paul, who is, you know, forearm bashing. He's like, here's a, you, I was about to curse. Here's a, you, you know, <laughs> shotgun of beer. He's like, jump, drinks it all down. I did it the first time, came out my nose. Oh. It was just tragic. Yeah, so. you go from never drinking beer to shotgunning a beer. Yeah. Uh, that's so it was big exciting. Job. But we have a lot of fun, but the fact that I am not the uh, frat boy party past. And, uh, well, you're a good actor because you know. I believe yeah. it. I'm like, how about wow, that? Yeah. Take I that, Daniel that. Day Lewis. So did you end up using huh? the seltzer water or did you actually use a beer for the scene? Or is it. <laughs> no, I actually used seltzer water. Oh, so you, so you still have yet to ever taste it? Have... No, that's not true. I had a sip of beer. My mom used to drink, uh, what is the Australian? It'd be a Foster's. Yeah, okay. yeah. And when, when, I was, when I was a little kid, and it would be like, "Hey, Mom, can I have a sip?" And she literally like, "So I've, I've had a sip of beer." But as a so kid, never... you don't you don't taste beer and go, "Mmm, yummy." No, no so I've never had, never like sat down and had a beer, or wine, or anything like that. It's silly. Yeah. Oh wow! Well, that's no you know what you're smart because then it helps you stay in shape. Because I drink wine, it's yeah. fattening as hell. Is that if right? I, if I could give up my wine, I'd be in way better shape. But it's like, yeah. Uh, but you love your wine. I love my wine. Yeah, wine. my family's big. They're big winos. They have like you know yeah. wine. Oh, they enjoy it. Well, we would get along fine. See, I will go anywhere if they're like, if there's gonna be wine. It right? sounds like you're inviting yourself over, and the answer's yes. So, <laughs> Brad and Meyer hanging out with us from the show Franklin and Bash. It returns for a third season with the new cast member Heather Locklear, and it launches tomorrow night with back-to-back episodes at 9 p.m. on TNT. Then on Wednesdays, every Wednesday at Forever. 9 p.m. on TNT. Forever, Forever. to infinity. It's such a good show. Yeah. Uh, th- is this like? Um, because the cases aren't normal cases. So yeah. Is it kind of like uh, the legal version of House, where you guys are like, you go in there with these odd cases. Because he always had odd cases medically. You have odd cases legally. Yeah, I think... And then, you know, with an attitude, because you're like more, more the street lawyers as yeah. opposed to the, you know, the guys who... The uh, button-up guys. Yeah. yeah, I think we tend to have pretty kind of rip from the headlines cases, kind of current stuff, and then we kind of flip it on its ear. One of our co-creators is a uh, former, I guess still, uh, public defender. And so we kind of base everything in reality and then throw these jackalopes in there and see what they do with it. Do they so. take some of your suggestions? I mean, because obviously you got Robot Chicken. I mean, everything oh, comes yeah. out of the sitcom. Yeah. Uh, robot work. Chicken. Yes. Robot, we were just recording yesterday for Robot Chicken. Um, no, we, uh, I mean, we we riff a bit with the friendship part of it. Mark, Paul, and I with our bickering and our banter and stuff. But for the legal stuff, I step way the hell back. And I'm like, you just tell me what to say. I'll tell you. What is, it, is it pronounced objection? <laughs> okay. that's, that's as far as I'll go. Uh, one eight hundred ninety five 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 six. If you want to talk to Breck, and uh, let's let's take a break and come back. Can you hang out for a little I would while love longer? To. Sweet. Absolutely. All right, we're gonna come right back with more uh, Breck and Meyer. We are Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on ninety five five KLOS. To get more samples like this and hear all the fun we have, you can do that at nine five five KLOS dot com. Now to get the show in its entirety on demand. And if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day. All you have to do is go to HeidiAndFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.